to bring up someone that is very special to me and has become like a sister, not just a business partner, but as a sister. And she is the founder and the executive director of Power Speaks Louder. Call her Miss B. Give her a round of applause, Miss B. Hunter. the fire. Today you rise, shine, and go higher. It's so amazing to hear, you know, the stories and everything that everyone is going through. I'm so proud of you. And when I say that, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I am so proud of you. And you have persevered. First, I want to acknowledge your perseverance because none of us expected a pandemic. None of us expected a major disruption in our lives that truly just changed everything. You know, we have lost, people have lost family members, loved ones, you know, people have lost their jobs. Some of the companies that we look up to are no more, you know, and most importantly, we have lost and you have lost the ability to go to the classroom, right? Who would have known we would be on virtual learning? This is a whole different dynamic that we were used to and now it's like, oh wait, am I in school or am I in the kitchen or am I in the bedroom? You know, you have to figure it out. But I'm so proud of you guys because you per persevered um, against all odds, and I am so excited to be here with you today. This is the thing. Now what, right? After we have celebrated and after we have acknowledged such a great, a great feat and a great accomplishment, we start to think of, to ourselves, now what? What's next? So one thing I do know is that time will reveal the real you. And I started the organization Power Speaks Outer in 2016. And that was not my idea. Can I let y'all know that? It was not my idea, all right? So yes, I knew I wanted to build a company. I knew I wanted to help people, but I have a background of design. So I never knew that that was uh, possible, but it took time for me to be in this space, to speak to you, to be on this platform. I'm honored in this space right now. Like I truly appreciate being here. What I want to remind you that it's going to take time as you discover the what's next, at what you're going to pursue, as um, you know, the things that you want to tap into, the curiosities of life, of what is after this point, okay? So one thing I want to also, I want to share a few keys with you, but I really want to redefine what's cool. What do you guys use for the word cool in your generation? Can somebody yell out the word, like a different word for cool? Because I, what? Dope, that's perfect, right? I use dope, okay? So for the seasoned sisters and brothers, the third definition of dope is very good. You can Google it, you may see um, it, a different substance that can be used for that word. But for the seasoned states, we're gonna use, your version could be uh, what's wise, okay? So when we use the word dope, we're gonna reference that as very good, okay? All right, so I got a few keys with the acronym D-O-P-E. I'm gonna run through them because one thing I wanna do with the time I have right here is just to leave some, some keys. Just to kind of throw out some words to keep in mind and to remember. Um, just so when you walk out this building, you have something to hold on and to cling to. Okay, so let's start with dope. D is the first word, we ready? Yes. All right, so with dope, I think development, right? You were at Rising Stars Business Academy and you were being de developed and in your journey, you're gonna be developed with different tasks, different things in life is gonna actually shape and develop you. I had no idea when I was taking pattern making class, I went to a trade school. So I didn't know that I was gonna develop me to use that within the nonprofit sector. Like we're building rooms and building spaces and changing lives in a different unique way. But um, I didn't know that what that development was gonna take me there. So remember the word development because developing is dope. Next, discovery. Life is a discovery. Uh, T.K. Coleman once said, discover what makes you come alive before deciding what you're going to commit to. When we talk about walking in your purpose, you know, don't let that like, oh, shoot, I don't know what my purpose is. You know, it's like life is a discovery. So we're here to discover ourselves, to discover what makes us tick. We don't just come out the world saying, ah, you know, we don't just sing when we wake up as a baby, you know, we have to discover what makes us come alive. With those who are creative, you know, it takes different things that you see. It's like, wait, I do not like the paint color in that room. You know, it's th certain things that you have to look at that really uh, can shape where you're going to life. I move quickly, so don't worry. I don't want to bore you, okay? So distractions, okay, that is a threat to your focus. So keep in mind, y'all, after you leave here, there are going to be distractions that's going to try to deter you from your focus, okay? And a distraction is a distract, so it takes you off track 
right? So I just want you to be reminded of distractions. I'm like your Auntie B today. I'm here to encourage you, but I want to remind you. You know your auntie and your family members like, okay, let's sit down on the couch. Let me give you a couple of keys before you go out in the world, okay? So see me as that, and please give me your attention because I really want to engage with you right now. All right, so next, let's go on to the O. See me real quick already. Oh, opportunities. What an opportunity that we had with this pandemic. It didn't seem like one. It was detrimental, right? And even power speaks louder. You know, me meeting Miss Alicia, there was an opportunity for us to serve the community. That was not on our list to do, y'all. We actually have the most provision, funding, and so many great resources have came in the pandemic. We didn't have that before. So like, there's certain opportunities that they're gonna present themselves to you, but it may look negative, but you have to relook at it and say, wait a minute, what is gonna push me to do something that I've never done before. And I know with virtual learning, that was very hard for us to do, but look at you, look at you, you did it. Can we get a hand clap for that? Really, really, what an opportunity. What an opportunity that you had to stretch yourself to see what you're made of. So it's like, okay, you're gonna be in a completely different environment that you're not used to, and let's see how you do. And I think you did a wonderful job. So you took a great opportunity in the midst of the pandemic, right? So optimism, y'all gotta have a great, uh, outlook has power, okay? Perspective, yes. Optimism is, is looking at life in a more a positive way, right? So knowing that good things are gonna happen to you. Your power does speak louder. Your words have power. How you speak to yourself, it really matters because that's exactly how you're going to walk in life and how you're going to attract goodness to you. So make sure you have optimism. And also opposition. Listen, when I first uh, pursued fashion, there were people to tell me that I would be working in sweatshops. I was told I'd be working in sweatshops. I told I wasn't going to be anything. I told pursuing a creative career wasn't um, lucrative. So what ended up happening was I got a company, I got a job at a company called Maui and Sons, and I was making 50000 a year in my 20s. And if I were to listen to the people who were opposing me, I would not have discovered the gifts I had, you know? I wouldn't have never tapped into those gifts. So with the opposition, allow that to be the fuel, okay, that pushes you forward. These are really gonna help you build up and as you go into this world of being dope. Perseverance, I'm almost done. We're on the P, the E is next. Okay, so perseverance, keep this same energy. You guys have persisted and it's gonna take more of perseverance on the next level, okay? When you leave this building, it's gonna continue, okay? Graduation is about elevation. It really is. It's about going from level to level to level to level. It's slaying the down, it's okay. Okay, anyways, got too excited. So anyway, yes, please continue to persevere and know that there's another P, which is possibilities, because there's so many possibilities out there for you. Whatever you want to be, you can be. Whatever you have within you, you can do. Uh, my parents are right there. Can I have y'all stand up real quick? They are the representation of, of a support system that never shunned me for wanting to pursue something that was different. And I know that may not be everybody's story, so I wanna be very sensitive to that. That's not everyone's story. Um, but they are a true representation of letting their little child that wanted to draw on everything do what she wanted to do. <laughs> and it wasn't that I didn't face opposition, because I did, it just didn't come from them, but it was other people that um, if I listened to could have hindered me, but they are the true representation of you know, me going after my dream. So hey, parents, you know, whatever it is that you know, um, your child is, is, wants to do, stay encouraged. Once they have a great foundation, and you know, it may not look like the conventional thing. Hey, and everyone here may want to do something that is, is you know, of esteem that everybody knows that is amazing to do. But I'm talking about the things that may sound a little, you sure you want to do that? Are you sure? You know, <laughs> having that support system is very powerful. And I'm just so grateful to my parents that um, you guys did that for me. So anyways, I'll move on. Okay, lastly of the P's is peer pressure. Huh? Peer pressure. When you hear peer pressure, do you think negative, right? I think it has like a negative connotation, but actually peer pressure can be very positive in the right way. Positive peer pressure, meaning, don't take this out of context, y'all. Listen to me. Surrounding yourself 
with positive influences because the definition of peer pressure is simply influence from members of one's peer group. That's it. That's it. And the reason why we're going through the acronyms of dope, of what's cool, of what's wise, is because you're going to be presented with all different types of definitions of what's cool, okay? So this, all these keys that I spent time on just thinking about for you today, it's really about us redefining what's cool. Because education is cool, you know? Sharpening your craft is cool or dope. You know, all these different things are. So when we talk about peer pressure, surround yourself with people who are gonna push you, who are gonna inspire you to become better. To say, yo, you know what? Get up and do the work. Let's go run, let's go, let's go learn, let's go do these things. So that's the positive peer pressure of the last P that I got on this list, okay? All right. Last one, y'all, E, excellence. Okay, it takes effort to be excellent. All right, so excellence surpasses ordinary standards. Going the extra mile will set you apart from the crowd. This is not about competition. You are competing with yourself. This message is for everybody in this room. If you have a heart beating in your chest, this message is for everybody. Competition with yourself is the most important because we need to be trying to be the, a better us, right? Or try to tap into that, that side of us that we've never seen. Forget being jealous of the next person. Huh? Yeah? because that's what it's really about. You know what I mean? It's really about, it's like, wait, there's another me I'm becoming. I wanna add this. When I was pursuing design, and when I was say, making 50,000 a year as a young, young woman in Los Angeles before I moved to New York, I moved to New York and I became a shoe designer. I traveled to China. I was building for Victoria's Secret, Steve Madden, Betsy Johnson. I was designing for all those brands. I thought that's what I was chasing, success. But I didn't know that I was becoming something on my way there. I was like, wait a minute, I look totally different than the person that started out. And that's, that's the point. So it's about becoming. You have all the value and the things that you need inside of you. Once you walk out this door, it's not about you know people validating you or making you feel good. It's just in you. And all you're going to do is be watered in the process. The next one is enjoyment. Enjoy the journey, y'all. Enjoy the journey. Fear it can be very scary. OK, this stage, I know y'all got some diplomas and stuff and y'all walked up, but it's not easy being up here, OK? It ain't easy. Especially you got people looking at you, judging you, you know? Looking at you long and hard, trying to figure out, you, you know, it's, it's not easy. But enjoy the journey, no matter how uncomfortable it is. Enjoy it, even when it's hard, even when it doesn't seem like it's gonna work out, enjoy it, because even the failures that you're gonna witness are going to give you lessons. There are things in failure that you just won't get skipping past it, trying to be perfect, okay? You're just gonna get so much fruit from even what so-called failure will bring. And last of the E's is empower. Empower yourself. Before anybody can empower you, you should be the first one looking yourself in the mirror in the morning and say, hey, I love you. You're gonna do a great job today. You're gonna do a great job today. I love you. Look, we graduated today. Wow. Yes, okay. So the next compliment I hear is just the second one. That's the second compliment I have because I already think myself. I already talked to myself. So with the favor you can do for me is to thank yourself and thank God for your existence today. Every morning you leave here, every morning you wake up, empower yourself. And guess what? You have enough to spill over to other people, okay? My cup running over only because I'm looking at myself and saying, you go be Hunter. You a little nervous, but it's okay, girl, because you did the work and I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of you, okay? I'm proud of all of you. So that's the last of my E's of dope, okay? Because empowerment is dope. And I also, as I close, Rising Stars Business Academy will always be here for you as a resource family. RSBA and Power Speaks Louder will be here for you. We don't do this out of an obligation, out of a job. It's a true care and concern for who you are. It's a true care and concern for you. Listen, I really love you. I don't know if y'all know, but like if I could get off this stage and hug every last one of you and not get judged because of COVID, I would. You, you know, I really, really care about you. You guys are fully equipped to accomplish your goals and dreams, and anything is possible. Congratulations, class of 2021. Yeah. You have persevered through the fire, so rise, shine, and go higher. Thank you so much. I love you. Let's go
Wow, she took notes. Yes, and then here's the. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, I love it. I love it. You're so impressed with so much. I walked in and she spoke to my heart. Like I can't even say anything else, but she's amazing. She spoke to my heart, and I had to come up and meet her after. And so I think I have a new friend. And that's so nice. Yes. Amen. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, she's amazing. It was phenomenal. Rising star. It's just talking about like you passed the test, you made it through, like you got this. What's next? Yeah. Exactly. Like, what's next? Like, let's go. For it. Let's go. High.